In the quest to make the highways safer for all road users, the federal government has supported the Federal Road Safety Corps with patrol cars, ambulances, tow trucks, and patrol bikes. These will be deployed nationwide for operational activities. And Mara Mohammed reports. The alarming number of road accidents is a source of constant worry for the federal government, stakeholders, and Nigerians. Accidents are usually caused by reckless driving, over speeding and negligence by some road users. The number of citizens who lose their lives during road accidents are more than those who survive. In order to enhance operational efficiency of road managers, the federal government is supporting the FRSC with a new fleet of cars. Vehicles approved by the federal government include 239 patrol cars, 49 ambulances, 23 trucks and 5 patrol bikes. At this inauguration ceremony, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, is optimistic that these impact positively on the general operations of the Commission. Boost the operations of the Federal Road Safety Corps as it gives the Corps members ambience to actually participate in the operational activities on the highways. The Corps Marshal, on his part, believe these vehicles will provide a breakthrough in the Commission's bid to improve service delivery and its enforcement process. Indeed, a great social investment by the current administration for the safety and well-being of its citizens. Stakeholders express their delight at the development and they urge drivers to adhere strictly to road safety rules or face consequences. We are very concerned and we keep informing our drivers to keep uh, adherence to the strict guidelines of road safety. Anybody that will caught him in over speed, number one, will collect the vehicle from him, number two, will hand over him to the security agents. With these vehicles in place, the Road Safety Corps are expected to live up to their standards, as if they don't, the federal government's efforts will be in vain. Mariam Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.